The Reef Guardian will split into smaller copies of itself. In total, you'll have to deal with the large version you start with, two medium and two small copies. After some time, the Guardians will walk over to one of the smaller holes at the outside edge of the room and become immune. You'll notice that there are six small holes placed around the room, each with a different symbol. There is also a larger hole in the middle, which one or two DPS will need to jump down into when the boss becomes immune. As you jump down as a DPS, you'll see three whirlpools, which you can synergize with to take you in the right direction. You can also look for the symbol which is glowing next to the entrance where Channeling Guardian is. Each path covers two of the smaller holes, and you may need to continue in to get to the Reef Heart, which you will need to destroy. You have a total of 60 seconds to destroy a Reef Heart, which has a total of 676,000 health. If you fail to destroy the Reef Heart in time, the ceiling will collapse and the entire group will wipe. The crab here does not need to be killed, but you need to avoid the cone from the heart and the crab's attack. A self-heal is recommended. Once you're done, you can use the synergy to get back up again. The player will be infected with a parasite for 45 seconds. Trying to go down with the parasite will instantly kill the player. The Reef Guardian will typically go to channel by the closest hole, so keeping the boss next to the hole with the crown in the beginning seems to be optimal. Having three groups for the reefs is usually enough to give players time to clear the parasite. With practice, most DPS should be able to solo a reef heart, but if you're new to the fight, I recommend sending two players per reef. That's the main mechanic of the fight covered. Each guardian has an acid cone ability, which will lay down poison puddles under anyone in the cone. It is important that tanks keep the cone away from the DPS while moving out of the AoE on the ground. Staying in the AoE will give Acid Reflex stacks, which increases the amount of damage taken from the Acid Cone. Stacks last for 5 seconds, but refresh when a new stack is received. It is therefore good to avoid having too many Reef Guardians up, and to split them between the tanks. When a Reef Guardian is channeling, the entire group will get hit by Lightning Bolts and will take stacking damage. It is recommended to clear these at 7 stacks. Tanks should try to clear before 15 stacks. There will be a line of lightning indicating the areas which can be used for cleansing. The cleansing areas have a poison stacks, and I would recommend to quickly go in to clear lightning stacks and then back out again. Do not let the group stand in the poison area, as the flowers will spawn increasing amount of poisons. The large reef guardian will spawn the first medium guardian at 80%. Groups tend to either move the largest reef guardian away while killing the medium and small copies before doing damage to the large guardian again. This is to always have a maximum of 3 Guardians. If, however, the group has high enough DPS, you may be able to keep all the Guardians stacked and kill a few of them before they move to the, their channel ability. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.